Hello my lovely and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you. I hope it's treated you well so far and that you had a wonderful two weeks. I have had a great week um, since I went back to work and after my first week at work the box from Alexandra Reinke arrived. It was announced that it would be late due to the holidays and Corona, of course. And here we are, the signature white paper from Alexandra Reinke. And I have to apologize right away. I had to make cuts because there's a coupon code in the box and I didn't realize until I filmed almost um, the whole of the first five items and uh, so I had to make some cuts and also my camera kept um, getting out of focus so that was rather annoying so this video will contain a lot of cuts but let's get on with it here is a packet of dies that I thought were for foiling at first, but um, I think it turned out that they are just there to punch holes uh, like stitching into paper and I shall be trying them out later. Next up we have an address booklet, tiny little book with beautiful paper inside and um, I have decided that I will make this my project today so you'll be seeing me later making a cover for this and also incorporating the dies as well. Up next there are four tiny envelopes for Valentine's cards I would say and um, lovely colors yeah they're not self-adhesive, but with a triangle of up. And up next, an embossing folder from Alexandra Renko. And those look like oval-shaped leaves. And the name is Blütenblätter, which means petals. So that's what it is. I'm trying to get the coupon here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the coupon is actually for the address book and uh, I'm guessing it's to make a cover but I could not log into or download the uh, course which also comes with the coupon code but um, there you have it. I have tried it several times before when I was sent a coupon but it never worked out. So here's the paper. The first sheet number is 102186 and as you can see it was in blush pink with golden, the Alexandra Renko golden speckles. And here we have a red paper, number 102204, which has a peach undertone, but it's dark red and kind of a mixed media pattern. And up next is the new uh, design line from Alexandra Renke. I really love this pattern. Uh, it has a very pale blush pink background and as you can see some dark red elements and here you can see my camera going out of focus um, it happened all the time but this time it went right back so I left it in there up next the next wonderful paper with some little doodles as a pattern and the number is 102183 and here's another one of those mixed media backgrounds I think it may be older but 
I'm not 100% sure. The paper number is 102203. And here's one that's really pale with white lines, squiggles, I would say. Paper number is 102187. And a different design along the same lines as those two previous ones. And the paper number here is 102185. And a paper with a smaller pattern, that's 102182. The dark lines you see are always um, this Alexandra Renke gold color. And here is a dotted pattern, 10-21-76. And a completely different one, one of the beautiful Alexandra Renke watercolor papers. I think you may be able to use this paper for a christening occasion. And it's very lovely indeed. Pink and peach. The paper number is 102147. So these are all the papers. Now let's get on with the project. Here I'm showing you the measurements of the little dress book and um, I won't keep you that long so I will speed up the video around 12 times in a moment so you can follow along without spending too long on this video. I'm using uh, some older bookbinding linen as an enforcement of the back but uh, I should have used it differently I should have made a proper spine as you do in book binding and that would have not caused the problems that I had later and um, the other option I could have had was to just make a slip over envelope um, well I went for the one to glue onto the address book and um, you live and learn. Next time I shall do it differently because the paper on the little address book is a little too fragile to withstand the opening and closing without a flexible spine, which I guess I should have known. <laughs> Once I start gluing, I'm using ordinary PVA glue. Um, I have a huge bottle, the top is broken, and therefore I have to pour it out in blobs. <laughs> and uh, now I'm cutting the corners and also cutting into the paper where the spine is. Um, one corner is cut a little too low. You need to allow a little bit of paper, the width of the cardboard, to enable the paper to fold around the cardboard. I'm scoring the paper again and also gluing the fabric to the spine and then gluing the a little address book into the cover. I'm leaving out the back side and maybe that was also a mistake <laughs> but um, I thought I will leave some room for the spine to be able to move. So here is the finished unglued project and um, I'm putting something heavy on top to let it rest and dry and then once it's dry I'm 
also painting the glue over all the outside, um, the spine as well as the paper to give it a little bit of resistance to dirt and make it a little stronger. So how are you doing? Please let me know how the New Year is treating you and uh, hopefully you didn't uh, catch or were affected by COVID. I do hope so for you. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm getting better. I can sit down longer and uh, I was able to go back to work, which is wonderful for me. Uh, I had another surgery on one of my knees, which didn't help. <laughs> but um, before that, I was tested positive for COVID and didn't have any symptoms, thankfully. And so I'm not sure if I even had it, but uh, then I was tested negative so I could go ahead with the other surgery. And now I'm hopefully on the mend. And um, in the meantime, I'm playing around with these little dies here and um, trying different strengths of or di different thicknesses of cutting plates and um, trying the elastic. And then I had the afterthought to put some strings in and make little labels so that you could um, put markers in the little booklet. So I tied the knots into the elastic and also um, to the little labels, of course, and um, fixed it all with a little bit of glue, just a tiny drop, so the knots don't come undone because this yarn is a Simo yarn. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, it's it keeps coming undone. In this last frame, you can see that I tried out the embossing folder. It works like a charm. And uh, I just keep a sample of the embossed paper with my embossing folder. And you can see the little labels that I made. And uh, one of them says Zeit, which means time. And Heute, which is today. And uh, this is it. Just a little flip through of the address book. And um, that's my project done. So thank you for your patience and for watching the video. Please leave me a like if you did like my video. And I would appreciate it very much if you followed my channel and rang the bell so you could see my next upload. Hopefully I will be able to post and edit, or I should say edit and post some of my other videos. I have done a lot of painting. I made a calendar as every year and so hopefully I will be able to show you uh, very soon. So until then, do take care, do what you love. Bye for now. Ta-da!